All praises to the Most High, no uncircumcised in heart. So Ezekiel 44 and 9, thus says the Lord God, no stranger uncircumcised in heart nor uncircumcised in flesh shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. So no children of Israel are any strangers. Other nations that are uncircumcised in heart shall enter into his sanctuary. And the Levites that are gone away from me, when Israel went astray, which went astray from me after their idols, they shall even bear their iniquity. So you Israelites calling on pagans, you're going to bear your iniquity. And thou shalt say to the rebellious, even to the house of Israel, because the thus says the Lord God, you house of Israel, let it suffice you of all your abominations in that you have brought into my sanctuary strangers uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in flesh to be in my sanctuary this is when the children of Israel set up this this is what they did now they set up pastors preachers bishops teachers that God didn't ordain these people are uncircumcised in heart they're uncircumcised in flesh they teach in the flesh the eating and drinking prophets the eating and drinking teachers okay um to be in my sanctuary to pollute it even my house when you offer my bread the fat and the blood and they have broken my covenant because of all your abominations and you have not kept the charge of my holy things but you have set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for yourselves they set up people of their own heart just like jeroboam did when he threw out all the levites in the book of kings and he set up men of his own heart to be the teachers and the preachers of god just like they do today they pick your pastor. You guys just go to school and say you're a pastor, but you need the anointing from God. Now, Acts 7 and 51, you stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and heirs, you do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do you. Um, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth but he being full of the holy spirit looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of god and christ standing at the right hand of god and said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing at the right hand of god then they cried with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul why did they stone him because they their spiritual eyes weren't open and they couldn't see the heavens open so they stoned him because of their unbelief now James 4 and 8 draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you that means fast and pray and come close to God cleanse your hands you sinners and purify your hearts you double-minded because remember I told you fasting and praying it breaks down a stony heart so that's how you got to cleanse your heart you know now jeremiah 9 and 24 but let him that glories glories in this and he that understands and that he understands and knows me that i am the lord which exercise loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things i delight says the lord behold the days come says the lord that i will punish all them that are uncircumcised with the uncircumcised that means uncircumcised in heart now it goes to 9 to 26 for for um egypt and judah in Edom, the children of Adam and Moab in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness for all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in heart. So what does Leviticus tell us about the um, uncircumcised in heart for the house of Israel? And that I also have walked contrary unto them. God's walked contrary unto you and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, you guys have to humble your heart. God resists the proud heart. And they then accept of their their iniquity. Remember I said you got to break generational curses. Now, this is God telling you to accept of the, the punishment of your iniquity. Humble yourself before God. Repent. Hosea 5 and 5. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Why, why is, what's an uncircumcised heart? Let's go. Matthew 15 and 19. For out of the heart perceives evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and blasphemies. Now, Proverbs 21 and 2. Every way of a man seems right in his own eyes, but the Lord ponders the heart. So that's why I made up those videos about purifying your heart. So you can remove an uncircumcised heart. So you can have a heart that God could mold and 
and fix and mold and create into his image of thought for your for you for you to learn because you need a good heart all right and that's why i put also the video a heart of stone and how god molds and changes your heart from a stony heart to a fleshly heart that god ponders the heart all right because look out of the heart perceives evil thoughts murders adulteries fornications thefts falsehood false witness and blasphemies that's why you have to purify your heart now psalms 119 verse 36 incline my heart onto thy testimonies and not to covetousness so you gotta have to ask god to incline your heart onto his testimonies and now joel 2 and 13 he tells you and rent your heart and not your garments and turn unto the lord your god for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repents him of the evil now proverbs 2 and 10 when wisdom enters into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs 21 and 2. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord ponders the heart. What does the Lord do? He ponders the heart. Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he, he shall not be a prominent be he shall not be unpunished now how do you break down your heart psalm 73 to 26 uh my flesh and my heart fails but god is the strength of my heart and the por and my portion forever fasting fasting okay psalm 78 and 8 and might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with god they were not estranged from their lust but while they were their meat was yet in their mouths the wrath of god came upon them and slew the fattest of them and smote down the chosen men of israel for all this they sinned still and believed not for his wondrous works their 